Scott Martin here at Power Pole Headquarters, where every shallow water anchor comes with drive-off protection. What's up, Z? Oh, hey, Scott. How have they perfected the science of drive-off protection? Come on, I'll show you. Power Pole, where drive-off protection comes standard, because it's easy to forget stuff when the fishing's good. Alright guys, I want to show you guys what I have in my boat, including everything. Okay, I'm going to start with the front. You see, I have 141 Minkota Tony motor. I have been with Minkota like 10 years, maybe more. And this is the most dependable. This is the best Tony motor ever. I had another one before, now I don't have to even have a spare in my boat. This is uh, I have so much confidence on my towing motor and now I have a uh, HDS 12 this you can see all down image map uh, I also have a Navionix chip inside it works great I just had this one uh, this is my 2013 boat I'm gonna get the new uh, uh, 2014 next month but, uh, I'm just trying to run out of Use those up. and I have a switch right here in the front. This is another little stuff I like to order every boat I have uh, just to tie up things in the front. Every time I go to weigh, you know, I just pick up right here, then just tie my boat right there in the dock. Super handy. Instead, I have to go back to find the rope and the stuff, they're always out here. That works great. Now I got a middle boat right here. I have a uh, side right here with all my locks inside. See right here. I cut right here a little bit so I can put like a two rods in each hole. I can put 20 no problem right here. And right here. I do not like to put a lot right here in the middle so I have all the clothes. Right here, and I have all my tackle boxes, and I have, uh, uh, see, I have too much clothes right now. So all my tackle boxes right here, lay down like this way. I don't like to put this way. I like to put like this. So I have this here. I have a lot of sunglasses and stuff. A couple of spare ears right here. Uh, then I have, uh, bunch of clothes right now, but gray suit, winter clothes, I have all this stuff, I have toilet paper, I have uh, repair, see yeah, I have, even I have uh, this stuff, just in case if I had a cat or something, so all stuff right here, and I'll come down here, this, I had my fishing line, all my fine line stuff here. I have my soft plastics, bunch of sinkholes. Well, I have spray right here because we winter time. But I have my carbon fiber push cord. Got a inside right here. I have another piece right here. Cut at this end a little bit so they can fit this thread. This is a mistake. You know, when I go to the St. Charles River for the spinning fish, I just stick this on the ground. You know, I have a little safety stuff, powder. 
bag just in case you know something happened my boat I can put my fish uh, horns some safety stuff Pulling rope right here so just in case if I stuck someone in mud ball or something ball, somebody hopefully pull me out stuff like that I don't have too much tackle because right here this is all I have this is all my tackle I don't put any tackle in back there and of course I have my cooler right here that's the water I don't drink coffee drinks, but I have this because uh, when I have fish breathing, I'm going to just put this on the fish. Alright. Okay, now I'm in a console right here. I try to keep super simple right here. I have one HJ12 unit right here, right in front of me. I, I, I made a hat mount like this to put right here. I always, always like to put the unit right here. I had another unit right here before, but this is, you know, I like to have right in the front. So when I'm driving, I don't have to look this way. I want always want to look just straight up. So I have Yamaha gauges right here, just digital gauges. Then I have my water pressure gauges. Of course, I have jack plate gauges. That's it. You know, keep super simple, and always, always you gotta have. Life jacket with a key switch. Let's do it. Okay, now I'm gonna come look for the back. Right here. I have my uh, my my uh, tools. I have my tools. I have my spare prop for my towing motor this is another tool for my spare spark plug all the time like not in the boat and stuff just in case something happens I just have all this stuff all the years with me when you got my boat new boat every year then I keep some of it you know, keep that in boat and stuff just in case something happens on the water. So I keep all this stuff in my boat. Uh, this is my uh, transom table as well. And other side right here. Well, this is right there, of course. I don't have any fish right now. But uh, I had an oxygenator too. jacket and I have a anchor and I have a spare prop right here yeah. all right you a ring free for the ammo every time you fill up gas I put this in on the back here I have my battery and a battery charger Now of course in the back here I have a hydraulic jack plate and a two power four braid and you know most important the Yamaha SHO 250 engine. Well again uh, all this stuff I try to keep simple for lightest possible so I try not bring any extra stuff in my boat if I don't need to because if you have more stuff you make more confusing what you use what you do and uh, the key is you know if the boat gets heavier your boat goes slower so this is my Ranger D520 and uh, I try to have everything simple and thanks for watching and if you don't know now you know hey man how about that? They were really tight. Not bad. What was that? You see that? See what? Creep, did you forget to turn the hydrowave off again? Oh, uh, it looks like I did. Don't worry, I got it. Thanks, bud. Creep!
Sorry, guys. He never remembers. Give it up, Creek. What are you doing, dude? They're keepers. <laughs>